Crop Guide, Jasper County. We're here with uh, Garrett Dobson. Hey, Garrett, just got a couple questions for you. Um, why don't you just tell us a little bit about your farm operation and what you're trying to do with the cover crops. We raise uh, popcorn and non-GMO soybeans primarily on our acres north of Rensselaer. Cover cropping started to help add organic matter to our sands and has progressed into whole field cover cropping. So how many acres are you currently putting into cover crop? We are covering upwards of a thousand acres or a little more every year. So is the goal to eventually have all your acres in cover crop or you're kind of at a, at a good, good point? We will probably take our cover crop acres up a little farther, um, depending on situations. There's fields that, you know, we choose not to cover crop because we need to do drainage work or excavating work, but um, we'll, we'll add some more acres in the future. So why do you cover crop besides building organic matter? Are there kind of some other reasons you're looking for? Yeah, we have some ground that has some tighter clays on it, and it seems to help with crusting in the soil and making the ground a little more mellow and easier to farm and also just recovering nutrients from the prior crop and having them in the soil instead of leaching out into the water. So we were just out planting um, some soybeans into some, you know, six foot tall head and out cereal rye. What, that's kind of crazy when you think back to your ag classes and talking about, you know, hundred percent weed free planting. What, what make what motivates you to do that? Um, I was unmotivated to do it. It was actually because it was too wet to kill early. But where uh, we left it green, it, it, it actually planted nicer than what we had killed when it was, you know, mid-thigh, you know, two to three foot tall. And then brown. It, it planted much better where it was green. And that's because the seed slot was able to close where you're planting it green. The plants were not as tough. They were easier to cut with the drill. Okay, and you're planting with a John Deere 750 drill? Yes. Okay. What are key techniques you've used to seed cover crops that keep it affordable? With one of his floater trucks spread rye over the top of our stalks right behind the combine, and then we're able to spray with either Roundup and Banville or Express and Banville. Roundup if the if the rye is not up or Express if the rye has emerged. And we can still control mare's tail and winter annuals with that and have the cover crop out there as well. So that's mostly cereal rye? That, that is primarily cereal rye. After mint um, or some earlier harvested crops, we just drill them in the summer. Ah. And have you tried other... You know, radish, crimson clover, those kind of... We had a five-way mix after a mint field last year that was primarily rapeseed. It was too much rapeseed. Mm. And um, I like the rapeseed, but it's got, it needs to be a lot thinner than what we had. It, it, it took over the entire stand. Yeah, I think if I recall, we had like three pounds to the acre in the mix, and we clearly should have been under a pound. So I, I think a lot of guys have learned that this year that rapeseed can be really dominant and rapeseed needs to be sprayed early um we hit it pretty hard but it 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 was dying but it dies extremely slow so you need to be prepared for that yeah it's, it's not going to melt back like cereal rye does or some of the other cover crops no it, it stayed stayed a shade of green for almost three weeks and, and how was planting into it? A lot of guys have talked about the really thick stock, um, you know, bouncing the drill or the planter. I didn't have any trouble with the planter. I turned the down pressure up, and the um, rope cleaners kind of pushed it out of the way, and it, it planted. I think that a lot of this ground has been over-farmed. It's been overworked. It, you know, we can't afford to take every seventh year and follow um, with today's market, so I think that we have to use cover crops to try to put as much life back in the soil as we can between our rotations of row crops. All right, Garrett, thanks for your time, and 
We're looking forward to a successful 2016 season.